An enthusiastic crowd was in place long before His Royal Highness's scheduled arrival at Central Caribbean Marine Institute in Little Cayman. Well, it's a very important island and we're being visited by a very important man. For Little Cayman to get a visit by the, uh, the future king, I think is huge. And I think the whole community is, is really excited to, to, to see him on the island. There's only a small crowd here, so it would be a good chance to, to actually see him in person. Many getting an opportunity to shake the hand of the future king before he toured the research station with CCMI president, Dr. Carrie Manfrino. Prince Charles is incredibly outspoken about the oceans. You know, we have that synergy. It's incredibly important to make sure that that message gets out to the world. And we think that there could be no better format, especially across the overseas territories, than for him to be here with us today to reinforce and endorse all the great efforts that all the young scientists are making. The Prince got up close and personal with students from Cayman International School, part of a CCMI education program. Uh, we're all excited and sort of like, you know, something we never thought would really happen. I was just amazed that he was just coming to such a small island in the Caribbean to see a CCMI building. CCMI staffers helped explain the science behind coral bleaching to their royal visitor through an interactive experiment. And his CCMI tour would not be complete without taking in a view fit for a prince. The United Nations is reporting that 70% of coral reefs in the world are threatened. While the situation may look dire for our oceans, Dr. Manfrino stressed to the prince that CCMI scientists are working hard to find solutions. Joe Avery, Cayman 27.